Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about BARC online entrance exam. And yeah, I know that this video has to be uploaded a few days back, but there were cer certain reasons so that I was not able to record any video. So yeah, so now like since the exam is very near, so I'll just try to tell you guys what that what are the things you should expect from the exam like all the uh, all the points which are written on your screen right now like the syllabus the exam what is the exam about and what do you can expect from the exam from the question paper how to score good marks in this and what should be your ex exam strategy and what is the expected cutoff mark so all these things i'm going to cover in this particular video right so we'll start from the syllabus so syllabus is same as of your like whatever you have studied for your net and gate the syllabus is same right so each and everything whatever you have studied for net and gate the thing are same uh, like the the topics will be same only especially just you have to focus a little bit on your physical chemistry okay so physical chemistry is more important over here so in physical chemistry also if to be very precise the important topics are your kinetics okay uh, the kinetics and especially your graphs from here okay so graphs are very important from the kinetics part then uh, your uh, uh, after kinetics uh, your thermodynamics okay so thermodynamics is also important then electrochemistry is not that much asked but yeah thermodynamics is important from here quantum chemistry will not be asked in that much detail as uh, as the questions are asked in gate and net so the questions will not be like that okay and after that uh, yeah so your nuclear chemistry so your nuclear chemistry is one of the most important one from the physical chemistry then from the inorganic chemistry you can expect your uh, from inorganic what you can expect is basically your coordination chemistry okay basics of your coordination chemistry not in the advanced things like the basic things where uh, like the mot the crystal field stabilization energy hydration energy all these things basic things from the coordination chemistry not that much from your organometallic the things will not be asked that much from organometallic but yeah from your main group elements questions will be asked from d block f block magnetic properties especially the radioactive isotopes and all so these things will be asked very like these things are very important from organic if i tell you so from organic what you can expect is basic organic chemistry whatever you have studied in your class 11 12th and bsc first year second year that is enough from organic chemistry the basic reaction mechanisms like your nucleophilic addition nucleophilic substitution electrophilic substitution then uh, your aromaticity so these basic questions from organic chemistry although physical chemistry will be the ma will be the major like physical chemistry will be hi of highest weightage over here right so yeah and uh, what is the exam about so these are certain important topics from the for, uh, for the uh, exam point of view okay all the syllabus i think is it's available on the website uh, of bark if it is not available then these are certain important topics whatever you have studied for net and gate that is well and enough okay uh, and to be very frank net and gate is, is having higher or a bigger uh, like uh, uh, a bigger uh, syllabus as compared to bark one so the exam is of two hours okay so you have two hours that is 120 minutes and you have to do 100 questions over there okay so this is the this is what your exam is about correct question will give you plus three marks and negative marks will be for minus one for each wrong questions okay so this is for correct questions and this is for wrong questions okay so this is how your exam is about so you need to do more and more of correct question and avoid doing your negative marking now what you can expect from the exam is that what you can expect is that uh, the question will be of minimal level okay so it will be of minimal level why because see yeah, per question you are not getting that much time right per question you are just getting a like a little more than a minute okay so uh, sorry a little less than a minute so uh, no a little more than a minute right so uh, what is uh, what uh, they will do is that they will not ask that much questions they will not ask that much dif difficult numericals that you have to keep on you will keep on solving and it will take a lot of time okay what they will take what they will give you is like one liners question that you can read and if you know the concept you can answer it out now one trend is there what i have experienced is that uh, the starting few questions okay starting questions are starting questions are tough okay these are basically tough so what you have to do is if you are not able to answer starting questions don't worry 
मिडिल मिडिल क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन विच आर दे आर इन द मिडल ऑफ द एग्जाम आर अप्रोचेबल ओके सो दीज आर अप्रोचेबल सो डोंट वरी डोंट वरी इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू स्टार्टिंग क्वेश्चन ओके इन द स्टार्टिंग इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू आंसर दैम डोंट वरी डोंट गेट पैनिक द मोर यू गेट पैनिक द मोर यू विल डू रॉन्ग ओके एंड नेगेटिव मार्किंग विल टेक यू डाउन फ्रॉम द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ सो this is how you have to approach the exam what do you have to do you have to be very precise whatever you are doing whatever question you are doing you have to make it double sure that whatever you are doing is correct okay if you are not sure about any question just leave it out don't worry the the cut off is not that much high so basically your exam whole overall exam is of 300 marks right so overall exam is of 300 marks now how to score high marks there are two ways the first way is uh, do more question okay do more questions and like if you'll do more questions then obviously your accuracy will be less right so do more questions and less accurately so what will happen there that if you have done like from 100 let's say if you have done 70 questions and if you are uh, if you are correct in 60 of them and 10 are, are wrong then that will improve that that will cover up your marks okay so 50 or 50 correct will give you 150 and 20 wrong will give you like will give you negative 20 so that will give you uh, one Uh, like 130 marks that is also good score okay so uh, if you do more questions that is also good so for that uh, you have to be very careful about like whenever you are doing a certain question don't waste much time on that if you are if you are uh, doing this like uh, if you are uh, if you are uh, trying to apply this thing on your on your problem solving okay the second thing is uh, do less question okay so you can do less questions also and over over here the probability of doing question wrong is very less okay you have to be you have to be very careful with, with each and every question you have to double check them so if uh, if you have done less questions let's say if you have done uh, 50 questions or let's say if you have done 60 questions okay over here if you have done 60 questions and among 60 if you have done 10 wrong then also your 50 are correct so how much you will be done like uh, from 60 50 uh, will be correct so it will give you 150 minus 10 will be 140 so 150 is a good score okay so exam strategy is same only what you have to do first of all keep, like read question and uh, answer them if a question is taking lot of time just leave that question okay so don't get uh, like don't stick to a particular question for a longer time just uh, try to do those questions which are easier to approach and uh, try to like try to at least read all the 100 questions okay that will be good because in that way you will be able to do at least the one which you are able, like the one which you can do okay otherwise if you will waste a lot of time on the starting questions only at the end you will not be having that much time to do question do the rest of the questions okay so that is one of the strategy that you read at least whole 100 questions and in that case you will be automatically you can easily do 70 questions from there because questions are very easy okay i would i would say that questions are from masters level only from masters level or i would say from jam level okay so question are from jam level only so don't worry don't worry about the questions don't worry about like reading the impo uh, like very detailed concept of the things just whatever you have prepared for net and get that is enough for it now at the end i will just tell you the expected cut off so the last year like i'm not telling the expected cut off the of the upcoming exam but from the previous years from the previous cut offs i'm just telling you a, a general uh, cut off range so the last year cut off was 125 marks right so 125 marks was a cut off and more than 125 whoever have scored they were called for the interview so 130 i will say 130 to be on the safer side so 130 marks is a good is a good cut off score and you if you have done this much questions to score 130 marks you will be called for interview in the bar for sure okay so these were certain things um, which i wanted to share about the bar exam i wish you all the best all the very best for the upcoming exam so that you all uh, like you all do well over there and you all get selected in that okay so just make sure that uh, whatever you have studied is well and enough there is no um, like model test paper available i think so don't worry just whatever you have studied 
build up your concept your basic concept should be clear and especially the organic especially those who are not from the organic background just try to do the basic organic chemistry okay if you don't have any notes of that i have a course on an academy you can go there and follow the link is there in the description right so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys like this video if you like this video give it a like share it to your friends and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel if you are if you haven't subscribed it yet thank you so much for watching bye bye